Okay, once you've got Photoshop open, what we're going to do is we're going to go get the file that we're going to start and play around with. So go to the uh, Photoshop One online course folder and you'll see there's lesson one. And I want you to, to control click or right click on this 01start.psd file. Then pick download. When you do, it'll end up down here in your downloads folder. And you can, uh, you can double click on it if you'd like. Or you can uh, control, or right click on it, open with Photoshop or even just drag it down into Photoshop, let go, boom, and it opens. Let's talk about this window now. So I'll actually just uh, increase this, and what we're gonna do is just kinda kinda uh, show you some different parts around here. So on a Mac, uh, you would close this and it would keep Photoshop open, but you'd just be closing this file that you're working on. Uh, this button minimizes and this button maximizes. Now one thing that's different on a Mac is if you just click on that, it doesn't go full screen, which I love. And so what else have we got here? We have, down here we have the toolbar. And across the top will be all sorts of different options. You'll notice that right now we're in the marquee tool, the rectangular marquee tool. If I hover over top of each of these tools, do you see how it gives me a quick little, uh, a, a quick little uh, video or a little gif of, the, um, uh, of what it does? Love that, and I also really like the fact that it even says learn how, too. I think that is fabulous. So if you're not too sure what some of these tools do, then yeah, just take a look, hover over top. See this little uh, thing down here on the bottom? This guy right here, the little triangle? That means that there's other tools hidden underneath. If you hold it, click and hold it down, then you can select. Do you see that it also has a shortcut? right here, so the letter G. Same thing as over here, the lasso has the letter L. So if I hit the letter L on my keyboard, boom, I go to lasso. If I go back to, if I hit the letter G, I'm down here on my gradient tool. Um, if I hold down the uh, shift and L, you see how my, my lasso tool changes? to the second lasso one. And if I wanted to go back to the gradient tool, right in here, if I hold down Shift G, it gives me all of the different options on the, uh, on the tools. So here's the paint bucket, and a gradient, and various other things. All right, now, Going across, oh, by the way, you'll notice too that with each one of these tools that I press, it changes along the top here. Okay. Now, there are other tools uh, on this side, and really what's most important, quite honestly, is this Layers window, and this one right here, the History window. The History window is, oh well, it's all of the things that you've done to the file. And you can back up and there's all sorts of stuff. It's uh, super handy. Now, let's say for instance that you accidentally close this, uh, this guy right here. And let me see, close tab group. We've accidentally done that. And uh, while we're at it, why don't we close this and close this? And you say, ah, where did all my stuff go? You can reset things by going to the workspace. Right now we're in Essentials, but we can just reset the Essentials workspace. And it goes right back to the way we like, okay, what we're used to. You can also set things up to the way that you want your own personal version. Uh, by getting the windows uh, the way that you like, 
You can drag these around to wherever you want, etc. And then once you have it the way that you like, then you can just go to Workspace and save it as a new workspace. And you'll notice that I have several different workspaces in here that I like to use. So if I said that, there's Workspace 1, which is really the layers and, and just the history. That's, that's mostly what, uh, what I use. And if I, uh, if I change anything in there, uh, let's say I close this tab group and I can go back to the workspace and say reset Bruce 1. Boom. Isn't that cool? I really like that. All right. So what we have uh, what we have here is actually let me just quickly go to essentials. So there you are and I'm going to reset it. So that way everybody's looks the same. And I want you to uh, pay attention to these little arrows that are on the top of different windows right here, these little double arrows. When you click on them, they expand the windows, as you can see. Let me pull back there and expand these little toolbars. This guy right here puts this in here so you see more of your window. And if you take a look over here on the left-hand side, see the toolbar right here? You'll notice the zoom tool. If you hit the letter Z, you will get the zoom. And across the top, you'll notice all of the different items. So see how scrubby zoom is turned on? What that is, is that when we click the middle of the flower, I keep clicking and I drag off to the side, we, we go in a whole lot. And you can also go back. So if I click and drag back, it works that way. Some people like to turn off Scrubby Zoom and just click in. If you hold down the Option key or the Alt key, it gives you see how it changes back and forth to the different to the opposite window. So you can zoom way out. Okay, you can also draw a box with it around there and you zoom in exactly on that area as well so option or uh, sorry command zero always brings you back to fill the screen command uh, or control for windows plus zooms you in command or control minus brings you back out and again command or control zero fills the screen. You can also, if you hold down the H tool, or the H uh, on your keyboard, notice how you get a hand right there? And that is really, uh, that's kind of neat. So hit Z first of all, in order to zoom in, and let's zoom in just a, uh, you know, around this flower right here. You hit H, that gives you the hand, and you can move this way. Go back to hit Z. You've got you've got the uh, zoom tool, but always with Adobe uh, with Adobe products. If you hold down the shift or the space bar, you immediately get the hand tool, and then let go of the space bar. Hand is gone. So that doesn't matter what uh, tool you're in. I hit the letter V for the arrow, uh, the, the move tool. And again, hold down the space bar, and you get the hand, which allows you to move around very handy. Another neat little thing, if you go to the window and you select Navigator, that's this guy right here, this is exactly the same as in Lightroom, where you move this around and you can pick your zoom area. Just in here like that. And you can make your adjustments, etc. in here, or even just say, yeah, 100%. If you're following along in the tutorial, we're at the bottom of page 16 and uh, go on to the next video where we will brighten the image.